<laughs> During passing time, you may have noticed a big crowd forming in the science hall. Everyone is excited about our newest hypoallergenic staff member, Milo. Milo is a therapy dog who can be found in Ms. Stoyanov's room. Milo, Milo is a cent center of attention um, when he's in the building. So, I mean, he relaxes students. I have students that come seek him out that I don't actually have in class that um, want to come just kind of relieve their stress levels. And when you see his uh, big smile that he normally has on his face, you can't help but relax. Milo puts a smile on everyone's face and it's always like good to see him in the day because he makes like everyone really happy. Uh, Milo's still in training. Um, it's a very long process because he is only 20 months so he's still a pup. Um, he still has puppy tendencies to want to sometimes jump on people or get super excited. Don't you eat stuff off the floor. <laughs> Come in. So we still go to tr obedience training um, once a week. Um, him being here, he's also in training. He's learning that there's times where he can't move. There's times where he's allowed to wander around the classroom. Um, and, you know, just exposing him to different experiences so that way once he does finish his training that, you know, he always behaves like he's supposed to. Well, I guess it's pretty calm going when he's there and everyone's just a little bit more focused, I guess. He makes it more fun. Like, I feel like people are more inclined to learn because he's around and people are just more excited. So if you're around the science hall, make sure to stop by to see Milo. I'm Aaron Helbeth for the Cat's Eye News. Milo, who's a good boy? Can you speak? Speak, Milo. No, don't shoot at him. <laughs>